In today's video, we're gonna talk about a really fun add-on for Blender called SimFX or Simulation Effects Toolkit and Presets, which is, well, you can think of it as a library of physics and simulation presets inside Blender. Now, you might not agree with me here and think that the add-on is a bit gimmicky, but I tried this and I think it's for the most part super helpful and fun to use. Especially if you work with water, fire simulations, smoke, explosions, and all those fun stuff. And if this is the case, this one is definitely for you. Some simulations can be painful to achieve. It's probably gonna take some time to set up and fine tune. Also experiment and repeat until you get the result that you're looking for. Let's take the example of smoke, fire, or fluid simulations. Usually the setup is the same. You need an emitter or an inflow object, you also need a domain, and you need to tweak some parameters, but they are not gonna be a lot, just a few. That's where add-ons like SimFX come in. It has a dedicated interface with a list of physics and simulation presets divided into multiple effects that you can easily choose from and apply to any object, with a considerable amount of control, of course. The developer of this add-on has a ton of add-ons under his belt, some really popular and some of which are even included in the simulation effects add-on but separately. For instance, you might remember this one called Imperfected or Physics Placer which helps you make a pile of any objects that you want easily. And that's what Blender add-ons are all about, helping you get the most out of your time working with Blender. And SimFX offers different simulations like fluids with different fluid presets like water and lava and you can also create a mail storm which is a whirlpool effect or a fuel tank which I don't know what it can be used for I mean it is just an empty tank and within this add-on you're gonna find four categories which are fluids, volume, cloth and rigid body we already saw fluids and under volume you have six simulations which are explosions, trail burst, fire tornado, fire, and finally cloud. This can be found under volume, but the library is gonna be expanded in the future. That's something that would be extremely helpful and I think it can be very easy to do. The third category is cloth. With this one you've got wrap, inflate, tearing, peeling, and you can apply these effects to objects which are very easy to use just select the object and apply the presets. And lastly is the rigid body section with a rigid body explosion, rigid body emitter, and Lego generator. Once you select and assign any simulation, you will get access to more parameters, which are organized in tabs for easy access and readability. Stuff like domain setting, emitter setting, field forces, baking, and so on. Of course, each simulation will have a different set of parameters accordingly. So let's try this. Once you install the add-on, you can find it at the right of your viewport under the M panel, you know the drill. It will be empty at first, so hit the load simulation library button at the top. And let's start with lava. Select the default cube and hit emit lava from object, and boom. You got a lava fountain in one click with the animated shader and everything else. Of course you can go down and expand the viscosity section and adjust that manually to alter the properties of the liquid as well as controlling the emitter object and apply forces, although these forces can be demonstrated better with smoke or fire based simulations. Now, I know you can do this manually through the physics tab, but like I said before, this just makes it sound much easier. Additionally, the simulation comes with multiple sophisticated shaders, but I think it's gonna need more organizing. For instance, this explosion shader is decent, but the node setup is messy and would be kind of difficult to adjust if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So the shader preferably needs to be organized inside groups with adequate labeling and maybe even expose the important parameters to the actual add-on window for easy access. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on and other add-ons from this developer, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.